Annyeong everyone, this is Drew from Soju Cars and today I'm here in Chevrolet Makati here along Pasong Tamo. If you want to purchase Chevrolet vehicles and this new car that's called the Tracker, this is a 2021 Chevrolet Tracker 1.0 liter LS automatic variant. The higher variant is uh, LT, Redline automatic variant. The price of the current model is 1,100,000. 42,888 but Chevrolet is giving 30,000 pesos discount for the introductory price if you are new to the channel please do consider subscribing and like this video and comment in our channel we say Shija. The 2021 Tracker comes with 1 liter gasoline engine with 6 speed automatic transmission. For its performance, it does front it has a front wheel drive with a performance of 114 horsepower at 5800 RPM and 175 Newton meters of torque at 1500 RPM. For its dimension, it has 4,270 by 1,799 by 1,626 millimeters with the wheelbase of 2,570 millimeters. And the ground clearance is surprisingly 201 millimeter. That's quite high for a subcompact crossover. The body colors come in agate red metallic, satin steel gray metallic, black meat kettle metallic. Summit White and Pau Zinga Metallic. The LT Top of the Line Edition gets a black cabin with red accents. The Chevrolet Tracker's uh, competitors are Geely Cool Ray, Ford EcoSport, MGZS, also the Ford Territory, and Cherry Tigo 7 Pro. Now let us start from the front. The headlight has chrome and black gloss, a nice cluster design, like three clusters. Uh, this one in this model has halogen type of projector lamp halogen halogen except for the daytime running light this one is an led the front look of the new tracker looks like a buffed up camaro somehow it really reminds me of the camaro effect because it is really thin headlights that look sleek and stylish going under we have plastic cladding and this is the underside of the tracker. Air spat. The front grille in hard plastic. The airways, the bow tie. Yes, the Chevrolet badge. More airways here. There are no front sensors, but there's a chrome accent and the body paint and the plastic. That's what you get in the front. A center line and also one some crease and this area looks extra sharp that goes all the way to the a-pillar so do you like the front look of the tracker yes it looks very well futuristic and modern at the same time but some people might not like the chrome going to the side we have blacked out metallic gray so single tone alloy wheel with the lug nuts center cap Ventilated disc braking system with brake caliper, the suspension, the plastic. It's wrapped in Bridgestone 215-55R 17s. So the entire vehicle has black plastic for its extra protection. So some people would like it, some people wouldn't, but it reminds me of the Mazda CX-30. Then the side mirror, it's powered and the top version is heated also but i don't think this one is heated though led side repeater no cameras no puddle lamp 
the character line starts from the front all the way but it is gone from here so when you get impact here make sure you see this extra character line otherwise it wasn't fixed properly the keyhole this one comes with a remote key this this car has a remote key lock and unlock so that's the key you will get the B pillar is in black plastic another window here the door handles in body color now this plastic is not just straight it has some design also so it makes it look extra stylish and rugged this is the underside of the tracker the gas cap is on the left you do get solid disc braking system here at the back as well looks like torsion beam for the rear with the coil spring we need to check that out later here at the back the rear combination lamp uh, let's check if they are all in halogen or some of them are in LEDs spoiler the antenna gloss finish defogger top mount brake light with the wash nozzle the wash the wiper the bow tie more accents here it says tracker reflector big huge plastic rear bumper with four eye sensors and a fog lamp and it comes with camera yes at least we have a camera and there's a button here it's electronic then here's the trunk area with halogen light yay we get spare wheel the size is 11570R 16s yeah it's very rare to see uh, spare tires these days they're slowly going away comes with early warning device some places to tow your grocery stuff and you can even have from the looks of it a cover I think the cover is not here right now but there should be a cover here and the button here is very well situated so this can be folded 60 40 yeah there you go so it is not a flat flat surface but i'm sure like this one can be transferred here to make it more flat uh let's check that out in the future video but as of now it's not here there you can get a lot more cargo space and look now let's check out the inside please hit the like button and subscribe if you like contents like this the door panel in the first row is hard plastic here hard plastic and this one is like a leatherette it is not fabric nice uh, quilted design diamond design white stitching metallic accent with the windows oh they are fully automatic let's try that later maybe we have a remote window down system for this speaker bottle holder cubby mm. it's interesting that it's not flat you have some creases here mm. the, the seats are in full manual but they have airbags there the material we saw here it also extends on the dash even though this is the entry model let's go inside oh this is the whoa you see that that's nice like those gimmicks actually uh like i don't know maybe i'm a geek i like those things and uh wow i like this it's not it is in led i like that we have led and this must be indication for the seat belt but maybe for this variant it's not there sun visors with mirror and with a sleeve here standard room mirror the steering wheel the audio control automatic lighting system manual type of windshield wiper now this one is a uh, very useful of a chevrolet 
and then analog type of tachometer and the speedometer and a screen you also have some outline of metallic silver around it and chrome so the car looks uh, sophisticated and it comes with a canopy like your roof the, the air vents with chrome and this uh, metallic color mm -hmm. now the design is nice and this area is actually facing the driver as you can see this is not a performance car but it is facing the driver so that's one thing to take note the ceiling is in fabric there are handles on three sides oh this is by the way this is a leather steering wheel with a flat bottom style and this one looks like a v oh and the filling of the button yeah the filling of the button is good mm -hmm. all right and the steering wheel is just up and down manually adjusted air condition system are in analog single zone hazard traction off yeah and this one comes with auto engine on and off for that uh, extra fuel save there's 12 volt aux 3.5 and two usb ports this area is all in plastic there is no uh, airbag the glove box is actually spacious and there's also a, a little more extra space there it's all plastic nice white stitching and the seats are in leather wrap and fabric with white stitching okay the passenger side the passenger side also gets airbag six-speed automatic transmission uh, plastic hard plastic gear lever with glossy piano black uh, finish metallic silver manual handbrake two cup holders with a divider center console with leather with white stitching even though this is the lower variant you can also put your cards in there and that's the center console if you're liking this please do like the video subscribe and comment for more let me bring you to the second row this is the second row fully automatic speaker chrome door handle with hard plastic unlike the first row everything here is in hard plastic and then there's no cup holder here but there's ISO fix the seat belts are well arra arranged because you have something like that so that is a good thing third person doesn't get a headrest let me try to sit down oh so now I have more space like that I have more space yeah I can stretch my leg a bit I'm I don't know 510 so yeah um, it definitely fit feels a bit tight in here but the feeling of the leather or the leatherette feels good and this com the color combination makes it look like a bag and I like this uh, blue like color very much yeah so yeah the the space is not so bad then Amentis two USB ports with a very low center tunnel and there's also no pouch here at the back I really like cars that are soft here just like this one my shin does touch something hard here but unless there's a big accident I'll be okay so those are the amenities here at the back the speakers the wind power fully automatic power window the seat belts oh even the center person gets three point seat belt all right there is well that's it now let me show you the engine bay let's open this let's check it out here you go this is the 1.0 liter uh, turbocharged engine it's a gasoline engine that does about 114 or 116 horsepower and the, there's a cover it's a manual strut and there's also something here maybe to channel more air inside 
and it is insulated yeah so i really want to test out this uh what this one liter turbocharged engine can do so for you to close just uh, drop it there you go now let me show you the lights uh, as of now the lights are on the daytime running light is on the headlight is on that's the high beam that's the turn signal there you go let's see at the back how it looks like okay there you go it seems like they are in halogen they're not in leds you also get the fog lamp which you can uh, turn on from there the lights for the plates are in halogen now let us turn on the turn signals and show you more about the lights this is what you would see when you are turning as of now it's in hazard okay that's led can you see it and then here at the back it's also in halogen there you go now let's try to start the car and see what it has to offer so here's the key it's a flip key let's go inside make sure you hold the brake uh correction so put it here in the keyhole the top variant will have push start button let's just twist it once mm -hmm. then we can see the p then let's see if this car has also apple carplay and android auto oh i think this one might have just apple carplay because it doesn't have android auto okay let's start the car Hmm. All right. So you can have digital screen there. Use the menu, vehicle information menu, dim adjust, echo menu, fuel economy, trip and fuel, vehicle information menu. So that's what you will see. Red needles and white kind of background and this is how it will, it will look like with the orange stuff. It kind of reminds me of the spark. So that's it. And the steering wheel is extremely light because this is electric assisted. So that's good. And when you shift, so that's what happens. All right. Whew. Very practical car, guys. Really, really practical. Let's turn it off.